And turning to our Commitment 2024 coverage now, voters in 16 states are gearing up to hit the polls tomorrow. It's Super Tuesday. And right now, the final spread is on for former President Donald Trump and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. More than 800 delegates are up for grabs when the results start coming in tomorrow evening. And North Carolina is one of those states voting in Super Tuesday tomorrow. There are several big races on the ballot in Western North Carolina, including primaries for Governor, Congressional District 11, and District 14, and that is the race we are focusing on right now. Our Aaron Baker takes a closer look at those candidates. North Carolina voters head to the polls on Super Tuesday, which is on March 5th, and there are five candidates running for the U.S. House of Representatives in the 14th District. It's a newly redistricted area which covers part of western North Carolina and extends into Mecklenburg County. On the Republican side, Jeff Gregory is from Shelby, Lillian Joseph is a small business owner, and Tim Moore is currently the North Carolina House Speaker, representing District 111, which includes Cleveland and Rutherford counties. Over on the Democratic side, Pam Janant is a registered nurse and U.S. Army veteran, and Brenda McGinnis is a former financial planner who was raised in Winston-Salem. No one from the Libertarian Party is running for the seat, so that is not on the party's primary ballot. Two of the five political parties that are recognized in North Carolina, the Green Party and the No Labels Party, are not holding primaries, so any registered voters that are affiliated with those parties can't vote in the primary this year. Voters that are registered as unaffiliated in the state can choose any one of the three primary ballots.